Alright, well, so it was convenient that I'm up here already. It's almost like it was planned. Almost. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> sort of planned. Um, Alright, so uh, me and Robbie are going to talk to you guys a little bit about, um, about YCL. How about, how about all that music, huh? I mean, you're doing a great job tonight. Yeah. Amazing. Um, and we also want to, uh, again, thank um, Cy and Ty for bringing up food. Um, that was also awesome. So far, so good tonight. <laughs> So, um, what we want to talk to you guys real quick about was just a little bit of like YCL history and um, a little bit of how that kind of ties into the building. YCL future. And, uh, and yeah, some, some possible plans for YCL future and just some uh, quick thank yous and stuff. So, um, the first thing we want to talk about is kind of how YCL came to be. It really came to be um, because of this building. Uh, we, when Eagle Rock moved here from the, uh, from the small, uh, where, where Oasis is right now, um, it's, uh, we didn't have YCL. So we moved here and um, we had a lot more room to work with, all the, all the rooms down in the back. If you want to take a look back there, there's a game room, all kinds of things. And then obviously the big sanctuary. And um, YCL just uh, kind of came about as part of, uh, like it kind of grew out of, there's a YCL Family Faith Church, which was Pastor Henry's uh, previous church. and so kind of grew from that and um, we had some, basically the mission of YCL is to make um, the, the kids and those, you, they're all singing up here in front of you guys tonight and they all have some special awesome talents but um, to develop kids and their talents and, and what God has instilled in these kids um, and to develop them into young Christian leaders so you know when they go to school or when they start working um, so that God can, can use them through leadership and through whatever endeavor they take um, in their life. So uh, so at that time when you came in, you became a leader pretty quickly, right? Yeah, because I, I pretty much came over here with Pastor Henry. That's, so so he kind of plugged me into that, helped, helped uh, Aaron with that, Pastor Aaron. And, uh, but then Robbie kind of came along. And I came along like three years ago. Uh, my friend brought me here. I hadn't been going to church for a few years at that point. I was still a believer, but just wasn't very strong in my belief. So I come by, I'm my egotistical self, and I'm just like, ah, I probably won't see these people again. So flash forward three months, and I'm on a school field trip uh, going caroling, and then we went to CeCe's Pizza. Normal school field trip. And I walk in, and I'm like, I is that Aaron? <laughs> and Christina and Neil, at that time, they were writing by faith. So I'm like, ah, oh, I'll go say hi. I doubt they'll remember me. So we talked, and he's like, yeah, Eagle Rock's right down the road. You should come check this out. And I'm like, no, I probably should. I probably should. So I drove up, and it was amazing. It was corny, but love at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> so then, earlier this year, we were working on Esther, and I'm getting ready to turn 20, and I'm starting to figure out my life, and I'm going to talk to her, I'm like, I'm ready to take the YCL part literally and become a leader for YCL. Basically step out as one of the students and become a teacher for him. And he's like, I've been waiting for you to say that, man. And I was pretty happy. So basically, over the next few months, I pretty much transitioned out of being a kid there into just being a full-blown leader, joining the ranks of Neil. <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, Neil's well arm Robbie's arm. been a huge, uh, very dynamic part, and uh, along with Robbie, obviously, um, Pastor Aaron um, has a huge part in leading YCL, and um, in his wife Michelle, um, they are huge. Uh, they do pretty much everything for YCL. They, uh, Michelle takes care of the food and um, amazing food, kind of an awesome presence to have there at YCL, and Aaron obviously is the leader and uh, he, he just takes charge he, he uh, you know if you have if you're ever wondering uh, for a good place to send your kids on Sunday night Aaron will you know he'll take care of them uh, point them in the right direction Aaron has some of the coolest games I've ever seen yeah, it's, it's pretty dynamic uh, uh, so uh, real quick just to kind of give you an idea of what YCL is um, looking forward to here uh, in the short future um, we've got kind of a new plan to encourage leadership. Yes, we're looking at really bring out the leadership aspect of YCL. We're looking at kind of like a mentorship. We want the older kids basically shepherding the little kids, or the smaller kids, and just showing them what it's like to be a biblical leader. 
in this world, which is a pretty hard message to find these days, I would say. So, yeah, one of the one of the biggest things we're trying to do is we're we're trying to make it cool to be a leader, and um, we're trying to hit it back as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, but so you know a lot of a lot of people out there in school love following is the easy thing to do. It's the you know the cool thing. All the cool people are out there and follow that. You know, and that's the very popular thing to do in society these days. And uh, we need leaders. And um, you know, the, the best way to do that is to take young people and these kids. You've seen their talents tonight. And um, you know, whether it's musically, um, speaking, singing, whatever it may be, taking that and turning them into into dynamic individuals who are spirit filled and, and God led. And um, not just here in the church, but also in their communities and their schools. Exactly. Like and, it's high yeah. And just and, and spreading that around and hopefully opening up the rest of the community to come in. Um, but again, that would not be possible without this building. Um, this building has been a huge blessing, and um, you know that's kind of what we're, uh, we're that's kind of what we're looking for is support. So you know, not only for for the church, but also um, for young Christian leaders, because um, you know, without this building, there wouldn't be young Christian leaders, and you know, we wouldn't we wouldn't be here today uh, celebrating this. So uh, again, thank you very much, and uh, thank you. Have a great rest of your night.